Good morning everyone, I'm Robigid A. Flora and for today's topic, we're going to talk about writing numbers. Writing numbers is usually a matter of writer's preference but except for some basic rules. So I have here 11 rules on how to properly write numbers, when do we need to spell them out, and how do we use figures, and how do we spell them out. So for the first rule is spell out the numbers beginning a sentence. So we have the example here, 2361 victims were hospitalized. Second rule is hyphenate all compound numbers and all written out fractions. We have the example, 43 people were injured in a train and the second one is we recovered about two-thirds of the stolen cash. The third rule is with figures of four or more digits, we use commas. Examples are 1,054 people and 3,000 attendees. Rule number four. So for rule number four, for clarity, we use noon and midnight instead of using 12 o'clock p.m. or 12 o'clock a.m. Also, using numerals for the time of the day is widely accepted. So for example, we have the flight leaves at 6.22 a.m. Rule number five. For rule number five, mixed fractions are often expressed in figures unless they begin a sentence. Examples, we expect, expect Five and one half percent wage increase. So for beginning of the sentence, we have five and one half percent percent of wage increase is expected. Rule number six. So for rule number six, the simplest way to express large numbers is always the best. For example, twenty three hundred instead of using two thousand three hundred. That is more simple. Rule number seven. So for rule number seven, write decimals using figures. As a courtesy to the readers, the writers usually use zero in front of the decimal point. So we have the example the plant grew zero point seventy nine inches last year. Rule number eight. For rule number 8, when writing out a number of 3 or more digits, the word AND is not necessary. However, when we use the word AND, it is to express any decimal points that may accompany these numbers. We have the example $1,154, and when we use the word AND, $1,154.61. So for rule number 9. Rule number 9, the following examples are typical when using figures to express dates. We have June 30, 1934, and we have the 30th of June, 1934. So, the first example do not need the word N. We have rule number 10. Rule number 10, when spelling out decades, we do not capitalize them. Example, during the 80s and 90s, the U.S. economy grew. And the last rule is rule number 11. So for rule number 11, when expressing decades using figures, it is simpler to put an apostrophe before the complete or the incomplete numerals and we do not need to put an apostrophe between the number and the S. So we have here the two examples. So that is the 11 rules on writing numbers. Hope you guys learned a lot and use this to appropriately write sentences using numbers and hope you guys enjoy thank you